Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to try to cover this question, do some live coding work at the same time. I'm going to follow the general interview steps while trying to solve this problem. So let's get started. Usually the first step for us to do is to try to understand the question. Um, we may need to read through this uh, problem a bit. Let's uh, take a look. There are n cities connected by m flights. Each city starts from city U and arrives at with the price w so now given all the cities and the flights together with uh, starting city src and the destination as dst your task is to find the cheapest price from src to dst with up to k stops so if, if there is no such route then we just output minus one and uh, here are some examples let's see the constraints so the constraint says number of nodes will be in the range between 1 to 100 and the nodes labeled from 0 to minus 1 the size of the flights will be in the range of okay so essentially saying uh, there could be no edges within this graph and also uh, the graph can be fully connected somehow and the format of each city will be src dst price three numbers within a tuple the price of each flight will be in the range of 1 to 10k k is in the range of 0 to n minus 1 and there will be any there won't be any duplicate flights or self cycles so having said that i think the edge case i think i can think about is something like n minus n is equal to 1 or uh, src equals to dst, something like that. Essentially, uh, the edge case is just about src equal to dst. So we are just going to return zero here without doing anything, uh, so simple. For the general solution, uh, the first one I can think about is a very famous textbook question called Digistra. And the other thing I can think about is uh, BFS. So let's just use a BFS to solve this problem. Um, we are not just going to re, re, reiterate the famous textbook, the textbook algorithm. So for BFS, um, what, is, what will be the runtime? Because we can essentially visit the same node more than once. So why we visit the same node more than once? That is because if we just uh, keep like a visit hash set uh, to make sure that we don't visit the same node uh, again, then we actually could potentially miss the final answer. So for example, let's say for this one, from zero, we could have reached one, two for the first step. And then if we have one, two, zero in the hash set, then we are not going to do any further iteration uh, or further visit. And instead of getting the general, uh, uh, the, the final solution, which is right, uh, that is from 0 to 1 to 2, we are just uh, going to return the, the number from 0 to 2 directly because we are not going to visit 2 uh, more than once if we go that route, which is wrong. So we don't really need to have the visit, uh, we could potentially visit the same uh, node more than once then it will be something like uh, the runtime will be, of course we have the factor k, which means we have k steps. And for each of the step, we are going to visit uh, the neighbors. So let's say for each of the node uh, in average, there are e edges. So they will be like o, k, e. So e is a number of the edges for a certain node. All right, so having said that, uh, let's start to do some coding work on top of it. So the first thing uh, I would need to have is a graph. So I would just uh, define the graph as a key value pairs in the map. So for the map, the key of course is uh, the, the SRC node. And for the value, it could be a list of the pairs for each of the pair, it's the key is the destination city, and the value is the um, ticket price. I'll just call it graph. I would define a helper function to be uh, to be uh, to be finished later, 
I would say this is called the generic graph. It shall have uh, this one to be returned. Uh, generate. So the generic graph is going to take the uh, flies to the array. Uh, I'll call generic graph on top of uh, the flights. This is a to do function. And the next thing I need to think about is the queue, which is the major thing to to BFS. So for the queue, I think I need to have a pair. Key of the a key of the pair is actually the city ID, and the value of the pair is the total cost to arrive at the current city from SRC to uh, this city uh, with a certain route. So this would be like the queue. I just use link list as the underlying implementation, and we also need to have the main cost. I will define it as integer dot max value, and of course we have the stop number of the stops here. And finally, I think what we are going to return is uh, if the main cost is equal to integer dot max value, then we are just going to return minus one. Otherwise, we are going to return main cost, and uh, within. Uh, between that we, it's a uh, it's a general logic for bfs so that's about the skeleton of this piece of code so let's see uh, for this one we are going to have well the stop is smaller equal to k and uh, the queue is now empty is empty if it's not empty uh, and the stop is smaller equal to k we are going to do the rest of the things, but before that, we need to uh, initialize the queue. The new pair as SRC two zero. All right. So just to get the size of the current layer as equal to Q dot size, uh, you're going to go through everything. I is equal to zero size and plus plus i um, okay cool so we have so we have the I would say the pair the integer integer I'll just call it pair as equal to q dot oh. so this is actually the current city and the current total price I'll say this is uh, current city as equal to pair dot get key and uh, current price as equal to pair dot get uh, value. And then we are going to uh, extend based on the the graph uh, we we have already generated here. So it's something like i is equal to. Uh, okay, so we are going to uh, actually go through that if uh, the graph doesn't contain if it doesn't contain the key for uh, current city then we are just going to continue here otherwise uh, what we are going to do is we are going to go through uh, the neighbor cities so this would be something like um, To graph dot get the current city, all right. So this is yeah. So this is the same. All right, all right. So this is the thing, and um, I'll say int next city is equal to pair dot get key it's, uh, next price is equal to 
All right, this is a typo here. Is equal to pair dot get uh, value, uh, or just a uh, take it price is equal to print dot value, um, or maybe just uh, need to define the next price as equal to pair dot get value plus the current uh, price something like that it will say if the next city is equal to uh, dst you we will need to potentially update main cost as messed up main with the main cost and also the next price um yeah so otherwise we will need to we will need to so if it is equal to the destination i'm thinking so i'm thinking do we need to uh, yeah so actually if it is equal to the destination we just need to continue otherwise we will because if you already arrive this uh, destination then you could then you extend the route, route for sure it is going to be uh, like uh, more expensive so it's it doesn't make sense for us to not continue otherwise we are going to have uh, the thing updated into the queue so queue dot add the new pair uh, with the next city and the next price so i think that's pretty much it Finally, I'll just rely on this platform to help us do some debugging work. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So uh, the to-do item. All right. So still need to finish the to-do item here. Um, so this will be like a tuple of the flights, or just a flight. Um, all right. So we need to have the map to be initialized. At the first time here, uh, graph is equal to new hash map. Go through the flight. Finally, we need to return the graph. I'll just put it here. So, graph dot. Uh, all right, so if uh, graph, if it doesn't contain the key, if it doesn't contain if it doesn't contain key of ground, let me just SRC is equal to flight zero and uh, DSD is equal to flight one and the uh, price is equal to uh, flight two. All right, so if it doesn't contain the key of the SRC, then of course, we need to have a new list inserted into it. So graph dot add the uh, src, or just I think it's called put. So put src a new array list into it. Otherwise, we will have graph dot uh, get uh, src dot add a the new pair which is the DST and also the price All right I think that's pretty much it let's uh, do another side of the testing here so some typos I think let's pair so variable pair is already defined in the method oh okay so it's already uh, this let's call it car city and the price and just to rename it a bit let's see all right so this one is accepted let's run some other examples all right so we have which one is the thing that's not doing well Okay, so I guess it's this one. K is equal to zero. Okay, so I actually didn't update the stop here. So I will need to plus plus the stop here. 
Otherwise, we may run into some uh, difficult situation, uh, which is wrong. Okay, so I think this time it's accepted. Let's run through this one. Try to do a submission. All right, so it's time limit exceeded. So time limit exceeded means you're earning more time than we should. Let's see if we have some ways to actually optimize it a little. So we have the generic graph here. We have the flights. We have the graph. So this part, I don't think we have anything we could do. And the next thing, find the cheapest price. Okay, so actually, uh, I think what we could do is if the current price is already larger than the main cost, then we just don't need to do anything. We're just going to continue. Um, yep, yeah. so this should be good. That should be a, yeah, so that's a good thing for us to cut the branch. And that's it for this uh, coding question and the solution. So if you have any question regarding this piece of code or regarding the solution, feel free to uh, leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help us subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.